Hey, welcome to another best of AI video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can vectorize your mid journey images so that you get a higher quality image or logo. So let's begin. So, so every day we add hundreds of tools to our database and I saw this tool vectorizer AI, um, and I wanted to check it out. So we're going to use this tool for today's video. Just go to vectorizer.ai. I'll put a link down below so that you can check it out. But before we actually get to the vectors, let's actually go into our mid journey account and create an image. So you can see here, I was kind of playing around with a logo here, but let's just start from scratch so you can see the process. So imagine, and then let's just create a cute, a cute logo. So let's see, um, an otter, <laughs> let's say a cute, friendly otter, um, drinking coffee logo vibrant playful svg and we'll say we'll say vector as well just to let they know and i think that is good let's play around with that and see what the outcome will be and i'll be right back okay i'm back so let's just say that you had a coffee brand and your otter was your mascot i really like this one this one's really cute so we're gonna go with that one i'm just gonna click u3 which stands for upscale number three so it's gonna make that image a bit bigger and a bit higher quality but typically when you see an image like this and you open that in browser you notice that as you zoom in on this image it's not the best quality there's some greenness and if you were to take this image and try to make a logo or you know put this on print on a canvas or fashion items whatever it is it would not look good because it's not a vector format it's just not a high quality so what we're going to do is we're going to save this image and then we're going to use vectorizer.ai um, which is the tool that we were talking about earlier. So what we're going to do is just drag that image onto here and it's going to do the process of uploading, process, fetch. I don't know what these things mean, but all I know is it should turn this image into a vector, which then you can take into Illustrator or Figma or whatever and, um, you know, do what you need to do. So let's look at this. So this on the left hand side is the original image. And if you scroll in, on the original image you'll see that as i scroll in on the left hand side you see all this pixelation but on the vectorized result you see that it's very smooth right um and there's no pixelation so you can see as i go to different areas of this image and i zoom in you'll see that no matter how far i zoom in it's very clean right the left hand side super pixelated right hand side is really good so I don't know if this is a one for one, like they might have to do something on their back end so that the image may change slightly. However, you can see that this is an amazing result. Just look at this. Look at the difference of quality when it comes to the image on the left and the image on the right. So I would say that this tool from our database uh, proved itself to be really good. And this is something that I was struggling with for a long time was just figuring out like how can I turn an image that I get from mid journey and turn it into a vector and then now I can do whatever I want with this image because it's super high quality we can take this and pretty much run with it just as is so once you get the vectorized result just click on download and now you can download this image in different file formats so SVG EPS PDF DXF PNG and just click on download and there you go you have that image ready to go so quick video, but this is a really cool tip that I think will benefit you, especially if you are a designer, graphic artist, or just someone who wants to take their mid journey images and turn that image into a vectorized result. You can use this tool vectorizer.ai. I'll put a link down below. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe so that you can see more tutorials. We're going to be doing highlights of different tools from our database and make sure that you head to best of AI com so that you can search over 7,000 tools and you can find similar tools like vectorizer.ai just like I did today just by searching the database. So that's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.